I come from Frankston, uh, an outer suburb of Melbourne. Uh, I left school early. Uh, I came back to school via the TAFE system, via night school, and have a very deep attachment to my local community and to issues of educational disadvantage. For uh, almost the last decade, I've been very closely involved in a program that we run out of Frankston, out of my old school, called Hands On Learning Australia. And what it does is it, it solves the problem that the public school system can't solve itself. Uh, kids at 12, 13, 14 years of age shouldn't be lost to an education system or a society. I saw a lot of that growing up, so this is something I'm, I'm really passionate about. Half of my close mates that I grew up with are dead. Uh, you know, they're on the back of suicides or overdoses or courses in life that just take you down a particular path uh, that you can't get back from. Uh, so it's a fundamental question about is a society as a whole uh, prepared to uh, look out for the most vulnerable in its community and those most at risk in its community? And I think there's a question mark over whether we're prepared to do that. I just had a bizarre situation where I read lots of philosophy and socialist philosophy when I was about 10 years old. So I was a, um, a class warrior very early uh, and I had a really fierce sense of what was going on around me all the time. I left school in, in year 12. I left school every year from year 10 at some point. I left school, I went out and worked with my brother on construction sites. Uh, then an event happened and one of my mates was killed and uh, it, it was a situation where, you know, that was seven funerals I'd been to in 18 months. And I went back to TAFE in the end because my school wouldn't have me back. You know, it's a big part of why I have a strong view about the role of TAFE in sub, out of suburbs and our regional areas because TAFE is the second chance education for, for those communities. Um, these were people that had really tough lives, tougher than mine. Uh, but turned up to have a crack and try and better themselves. You know, I was, to be honest, really inspired by the stories of the people around me. From TAFE, uh, I snuck into Melbourne Uni uh, to do commerce at Melbourne Uni. So we was shit scared about what university might be like, so worked really hard. I was the top student in finance in the country. I had the top scholarship in finance in the country. And I had to make a choice. I had fantastic offers from the Treasury and from the Prime Minister's Department. Uh, and I was just absolutely ready to jump into big policy debate. So I went to the Commonwealth Treasury. And I got a call from uh, a couple of people in the Labor Party uh, in Canberra saying, um, we'd like you to work for us, what do you want to do? Went to work for Martin Ferguson. In the, in the interview I said, who are you in it for? What are you in it for? And his answer was from a union background was I'm in it for the kicker. Mm. And that was alignment with me. Yeah. I have always sort of had a, always been drawn to public service. I think public service is a, is a noble profession. Um, affecting really big change and improving economic or social or environmental outcomes for the community is really hard. So there's an awful lot that you do have in your hands that you can draw on and you can utilise to actually affect change. 